Ready? Okay. Welcome back to the Road Show. This morning in the buzz, let's talk about bringing on a federal judge and get <laughs> rules. Cheerleading is not a sport. It all stems from a lawsuit filed by members of the volleyball team at Quinnipiac University. Don't stop, please. Don't. <laughs> Can you tell I was never a cheerleader? B, aggressive. B, E, aggressive. The players sued after the school announced last year that it would eliminate the team for budgetary reasons. Now, <laughs> I like how they popped up the video so they couldn't see me cheering anymore. In any case, the school replaced uh, then... Well, the, their school replaced uh, what it said was a competitive cheer squad to stay in compliance with the 1972 federal law, Title IX. It mandates equal opportunities for men and women in athletics. So basically, they put in a cheerleading squad to say, okay, we do have a primarily women's team. It's cheerleading. It's a sports team. And then, the, of course, they have men's teams. Yeah. Um, but the judge said that cheerleading is too underdeveloped and disorganized to be considered a sport. Yeah. Which I'm That's amazed. unorganized? I know. Are you serious? No, That's no, more organized got, than anything else. They've got competitions, they've got uniforms, they've got movies. Uh, movies. Yeah. But here's the thing, according to Title IX, to be considered a sport, the activity has to have coaches, Which they do. practices, Which they do. competitions Which during they do. a defined season, and a governing organization. It must also have competition as its primary goal, as opposed to you know, supporting another athletic team. Uh, now, in the meantime, Quinnipiac now has two months to come up with a plan to keep the volleyball team in order to comply with gender rules. So now they have to have another predominantly women's team because they're saying, listen, you're not, you're not qualifying for Title IX. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think? Well, Is it a sport? First off, all these headaches that you're causing with these cheerleaders, it's going to cause me a lot of problems. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. The, the stuff we just watched, there are t two types of cheerleading. There are that where they go to the competitions and it's very organized and there's practices and these girls are I mean this is intense that's a sport I'll go out and that's a sport right there the uh, you know pom poms I don't know if that you know how there's two types you mean, of like, the pom poms different. and cheering right, for, the, like a dance for the swim squad team versus yeah I don't know if that is necessarily um, well I'll tell you cheerleading but but I'll tell you what it, well it's not an and art they talked it's not about, like ballet yeah, they talked about practices and competitions and how many people do you know You know, I, I got a cheerleading competition this week I hear that yeah. all the time I mean that's about as and they call them cheer squads I mean it's not even cheerleaders yeah. or the cheerleading team you know it's not like the, the rah rah with the pom pom yeah, and, and the, the megaphones I don't know if that's technically right, right, right. a sport that's more of a club or a or okay. whatever, but, but that stuff we were just watching is a sport. It's intense. I, I actually tried cheerleading once. I think I think we actually might have a photo of it. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, it takes an athletic talent right that's there. Right, that. I forgot that's that. an athlete on the top of that pyramid. I right feel there. bad for those girls. Thing. If that's not a sport, I don't know what is, because that's athleticism right there. Look at that guy. At its finest. Look at look at the nerve. What do you think? Look, You're look, the look at the guy. nervousness up there. Lock the knees, kid. Lock the knees. <laughs> well, I mean, it goes into the argument too that I hear all the time when I used to be a sportscaster as well. You know, golf's not a sport, and NASCAR's not a sport, and those things. I mean, there's such a, it's, I always, you know, if it doesn't have a ball, a goal, uh, you don't wear a helmet or water You know what's involved, not a sport? Bobsledding. You jump in a sled, sled and you just like gravity yeah. take over. The luge. Why is that a sport? The luge. Why is well, the luge? Ooh, he pointed the, his toes. What back a to the cheerleaders. <laughs> the, seriously, though, back to the cheerleaders, though, when, like the college cheerleaders, if you go to a college yeah. basketball game or a football game, you see the cheerleaders on the sidelines and, and the girls getting thrown around and the guys with the big yeah. muscles, they're all on scholarship. Yeah. Yeah. At a, at a major Division One college yeah. schools. And that's not for cheerleading. And that's so, you know, um, I went into this morning thinking that it wasn't a sport because it didn't have right. a ball, a goal, water, a helmet, or it's not in the Olympics. Right. But I think there's a cheerleading that's part, that this is part of a sport like we saw in the video, but. It's on ESPN. Well, and here's the, <laughs> so the, the, here, here, the, here's the other thing that I, I do hope what this will do. If this means that more women can be athletes because there will be more women's teams at colleges, then, I, then I'm all yeah, for it. Get involved. It, I think if you get yeah. the kids involved, that's that's can, the main thing. Can get you do involved. me a favor yeah. as we toss it yeah. over to Courtney? Can you just do a few more cheers? Yes, I will. Fun Ready? Ready? Who's that Spartan having my baby? It's Courtney. It's Courtney. <laughs> Who's that Spartan having my baby? It's Courtney. It's Courtney. I didn't think this would turn into such a fun <laughs> segment. No, no. Feels like fun. Friday. We have uh, lots of cheerleading supporters here on the live blog and a few more on Facebook, but there are some who do not consider it a sport. So we will start on foxprovidence.com first. And Jean says, I think the judge's ruling is moot. Have you ever seen a cheerleading competition? Amazing athletes, amazing acrobatics. And Ja Rule says cheerleading is a sport. Bowling isn't, yet there are bowling teams in high school. Here's the poll we're asking today, right underneath the live blog. Do you think cheerleading should be considered a real sport? A, yes, cheerleaders are serious athletes. B, no, cheering is just sideline fun. Or C, 
only if cheerleaders are competing. And if you're on Facebook this morning, if you're one of the, what is it, 500 billion that are on there, uh, we have lots of comments. This one is from Haley Olbrick, and she said it should definitely be a sport. Rachel Pivo says, well, do they consider dancing a sport? No, and it is pretty much the same thing, right? And that's what she said. And Marie Terrell says, yes, let them sit through 18 hours of cheerleading competitions to see how competitive and athletically involved cheerleading is. So if you want to weigh in today, a number of ways, as usual, you can do that, and we will have those poll results for you in about 30 minutes. We'll let you know what you all said.